Hi friends. My book today is called The Button Box. It's written by Margaret Reed and illustrated by Sarah Chamberlain. My grandma has a special box. I like to play with what's inside. What do you think's inside? What do you think it could be? <gasps> Look at all those <gasps> buttons. Wow. There's some really cool ones in there. I swirl the buttons round and round, and then I pick the ones I like. Ten have flowers painted on them, just like Grandma's china dishes. I sort them first. They counted 10 of these. Let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten flower buttons. Next, I look for sparkly buttons. I pretend they're jewels that once belonged to kings and queens and movie stars. Sparkly buttons. They're so fancy. Some buttons are covered with cloth, satin, velvet, or corduroy. They make me think of fancy clothes. Look at all those fancy clothes. There are metal buttons from overalls and jeans, leather ones from cowboy shirts and sweaters. This one looks like grandpa's winter coat. Grandma says these small ones came from shoes that they wore a long time ago. <gasps> wow. Do you see the metal buttons? <gasps> and these ones came from the shoes. Next, I sort the skinny buttons that came from uniforms. I line them up like marchers in a big parade. The one with the eagle on it, I call Mr. President. See the eagle? Look at all of these buttons. Do you see that? They made a parade. That's what he said. They're all in a line. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. What does that make you think of? All of these buttons right here. What are you thinking of? I pull out all the pearly ones and I make a rainbow pattern. When does little change too big? I can never tell. Look at all that rainbow pattern. Do you see all the colors in there? Some buttons have four holes, some two. Some don't have any sewing holes. They have shanks instead. These make good eyes for puppets and stuffed animals. They made a puppet. And there's some buttons for eyes on their bear. Sometimes when grandma sorts with me, we play a special game. We stir the buttons, shut our eyes, and we each take one. Grandma asks, are they alike? What do you see that's alike on those? Alike means the same. I see they have four holes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mine is wooden, so is hers. So they're both made of wood. Both are round and flat, but hers is thick and mine is thin. 
She puts my button on a string. Whirl it around, she says. The string twists up and I pull the ends and we listen to a humming sound. Wow, do you see what he's doing? That is so cool. Grandma tells me what some buttons used to be. Some were seashells, some were even sand. Big furnaces heat the sand until it melts and when it cools, it becomes glass. Wow. Those are some really fancy buttons. <gasps> Wooden buttons come from trees. Deer shed their antlers every winter and they grow new ones in the spring. I like the buttons made from their old horns. Wow. Do you, do you tell the difference between a wooden button and these over here that are glass? When it's time to put the buttons back, I pretend I'm very rich, counting my gold. I like to feel the buttons then, the bumpy and the smooth. I like the way they sound, clickety-tappity, falling through my fingers one by one back into the box. Wow, look at all those buttons, how special. Then grandma puts the box away where it will wait for next time. I wonder who first figured buttons out. And he's buttoning his shirt. The end. Bye.